So originally I was trying to file a window and take you on that little journey and here's some some clips from that. Attempt number one went really bad. So we're gonna cut it off and do it again. It's not bad. It's a little rough, but it's smoother than it was before. All right, so I'm gonna try it one more time. But this time, I'm gonna let the film sit on the glass, heat it up with a heat gun, and then maybe this will be a lot easier to do and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, the footage didn't turn out very well. Um, I'm still playing around with the focus on this camera a lot. Uh, the exposure was off on some of the footage too, filmed in different frame rates and this and that and the other thing. And there's a lot to remember when you're filming one of these videos. It didn't turn out how I liked it too, um, but I will attempt it again. I just didn't have the time this week and I'm trying to do at least a video a week. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of using the plotter software, cutting out uh, the front doors on the plotter, putting them on the glass board, shrinking them, and then installing them. Just, you know, real quick, start to finish, what a set of doors looks like in a nicer shop. So here I have a 2018 Grand Cherokee. I'm just doing the front doors on it. First step is to load the film into this thing. This is a Graftec 60-inch uh, plotter. I have Helios Nova loaded in right there, ready to go. And then we jump to here. Uh, this is computer cut software. So we go to auto window tinting, then the Make Jeep year 2018 Grand Cherokee. All I want to do is click on my pattern, then go to cut, select my pattern, click this little scissor button here, blah, blah, sure. Watch magic happen. We'll take the knife. And now we're going to do the exact same thing with the other one. So the plotter, it etched into the film here, and now we have to cut off all the excess and remove it to be able to shrink it and install it. So, since this is a little difficult to be able to film and cut this out at the same time, I gotta put you on this guy right here. So this is my camera jib. This will help me, um, basically I have a tripod head here and I can move it up and down. That way I can get a good angle on it pretty quick and it's on wheels, so it rolls around. So that way I can film all this and still be able to tint at the same time because on a tripod, it takes forever. And now I need to weed my pattern. So I'm just gonna trim all the film off around the edges. I'm gonna take my film and then tear it off. So now I have my patterns cut out and I need to take them over to the glass board in order to shrink them and then they're gonna get installed in the car. So there's gonna be a little bit of cleaning on other stuff. Okay, so we have two glass boards. Spray this off. I'm just using a three gallon tank and a brass spray nozzle. This is for the driver's side. We're just gonna squeegee it down. Um, to heat shrink it, but I gotta go throw the other one. So this is the other glass board. Um, I put one pattern on one side and one pattern on the other, just so they're in proximity to the doors that they're going on. So I have my other pattern over here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna kinda squeegee it down to the glass. Fix this little corner, since I didn't tear it off all the way. And now, we need a heat gun. Plug this heat gun in. This is a Porter Cable heat gun. It's probably the best type of heat gun that I've used so far. Um, now, this is a method called snapping. So all I'm gonna do is put some heat on the bottom edge. And what that does is it curls the film 
to fit the glass. So I used to traditionally shrink just the individual fingers. Since then I've learned snapping and then it really just kind of, I don't know, it creates a lot of tension at the bottom and, and just kind of like bows out and it fits really well if you do it right. Okay, so same thing over here. I actually have a little bit of clear plastic, a little bit of liner. Um, I trim this closer to the film just for shrinking because it just makes it go a little bit easier. So all I do is we'll curl up this bottom edge and then just take a little bit of heat right at the bottom and you'll see the film just start to curl. And then there you go. That's really all you need. Um, remember this is a flat surface, your glass is curved, just kind of need to play around with it a little bit to figure out exactly how much heat for windows, you know, you can do a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, if you do it too much, you're gonna fight with it. Uh, not enough, you're gonna have fingers pop up, but there are, is a little bit of play in there, so it doesn't have to be perfect every time. But overall, um, I used to get things that pop up in the bottom of the window, but since I've done this, it works out a lot better when you do it properly. Okay, so my patterns are already done. Now, let's bring you guys over here right about there, because now we don't want to mess up the interior, and I don't want to get a bunch of comments, again, about water running down the door panel. So that's masked off. I have my pattern ready. Now we need to clean this, and I'm just gonna spray it. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape this off with a gator blade. Now, if there was like glue or something like that, like in my uh, last video, click here to go see that, I'll use a razor blade, and that doesn't scratch glass, and neither does this. I use this because it's, um, I can use it more often. I'm not going through razor blades all the time. So one important thing is to wipe off your top edges a few times because there's like, there can be these like lines of dirt. This is a laminated window, and dirt can sit in the top of this laminate. And so you really want to pay attention to these top edges and make sure you wash out or wipe out um, all the dirt. Make sure your seals are clean. Um, you can also kind of go over the glass with your hand and make sure. But now that that's good, take your squeegee and clean off the window. So now we're pretty much um, at the same place I was in my first video. So now that we have that sprayed off, I have to go peel my pattern. This is the fun part, right? So we're peeling the pattern. We're just gonna start in this top corner, come down halfway, make a straight line across, do about half here, maybe a little bit higher up, and um, actually a little lower on this side, so leave a fair amount exposed. And then we're gonna pick up the pattern. Oh, we're doing both. And now, gotta make sure <laughs> I don't hit anything, because I'm not gonna be able to do that on the other side, that's too close to the wall. So then, Install it, just start with this top and get it to a place where, there we go. Tuck it into the side. And then once we get that in place, now I can bring you guys over a little bit farther. Okay, so there we go. Make sure my top edge is lined up. This top edge lines up pretty well. Start with the top, squeegee it out. And then, so pattern seems pretty locked down in place. Now we can roll it up. Now we gotta wash out the bottom. Peel it off. Oh, 
Remember on my Explorer, these were a little short. On this one, it seems a little bit long. Squeegee it out. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna go over it one more time. Once that's done, we're gonna peel off the plastic, wipe off the water and the door. Cool. Now, if you wanna see the outside a little bit better, I could have wiped this down, but like in my first video, I forgot to wipe this off because I'm trying to do both, but it looks good. So we're gonna go with it. Alrighty, and that's it. We have uh, on here, Grand Cherokee. We did 35 on the front two, and um, he has 20% factory on the back. Well, usually factory is 20%, but on a lot of these Chryslers, they've been a little bit lighter, so it's more likely it's uh, like 20, 24, 25% even. Um, so 35% on the front two, um, it's not gonna be too dark, but I've done 20% on the front of these and it's actually been a little bit darker than what's on the back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.